I'm more nervous uh, and then you know psychotherapy but now we got tools all over the place and stuff I could hurt myself little Blakeney's with us uh, and, and thanks for staying with us let's talk a little bit about the art we've got three great examples of what you've been able to create um, how did you learn this uh, many many workshops I am a terminal student Really? Absolutely. Terminal student. <laughs> uh, I got that feeling from mm -hmm. all the different career paths. I took classes in Toronto. Up, I just came up from Ottawa. I lived in Ottawa for five years and did a lot of work there. Okay. So, so. What, what kind of format are we working on? This is acrylic. Uh, right. The three big pieces are acrylic or mixed media. And so it's acrylic paint, but it also a number of different other things to it. I love color. I love mixing the colors. And I like texture. So you can see gold leaf here. There's graphite, uh, some crayons, and uh, all, uh, lots of different different um, acrylic mediums and, and things like that and the, you could, my art is for feeling I like people to come and feel it what's the inspiration because I look at the different textures I mean the one right behind you we're looking at the right. face in among and there's different wheels and you know mm -hmm. and, and and what we're looking at here I mean we're looking at what to me is a, a city scene am I okay am I mentally right. stable by getting yeah, it this way very okay. good very good I, okay. I want to I don't want to find out suddenly a Rorschach test going yeah. on here and, and this again more different shapes and kind of contours and and you know, I, I, I don't exactly grab the instant inspiration on that one. Well, I'm absolutely a process painter, so I just love to go in there not knowing what to do, and I just start. So what are we doing? Uh, are these now, tools these are that makes it happen? These are acrylics, right. and I also brought a couple of samples of, uh, they're called encaustics. Right. Encaustics is a, is a Greek word, which means to burn in, uh, or heat. So this is a 3,000-year-old technique where you use beeswax and a hardener. All these tools are used, and many more, to try to... To make, make this, that? To make this image. So what this we're looking is, at on the floor creates This is that? only wax. Right. Okay. And How much fun is it to work oh, in wax? Oh, kind of it's and, wonderful. And I get a kick out of it. Of course, you say it's called a caustic? Yes. Is that where we get the word about like lye or acid being caustic? No, no. I don't think... Maybe, but I, to burn, maybe. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay, yeah, so there you yeah. go. Now and there's different things in here. Like these are grommets. Yeah. Um, so you can, you can feel it. Yeah. So you, you build these into the picture? So I brought a sample here. This is a, pl uh, a birch panel. Right. It's got wax. You can feel the wax on it. So okay. I've just put the wax on. And then I put an image of... You're not fooling me. It's George Washington. Mona Lisa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you did fool me. <laughs> I swear to you. I thought that was a $1 bill. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Okay. And then I'll but keep building it up. But how do you get that into the wax? Uh, the, the secret behind encaustics is everything has... It's heat. Everything has to be fused with the next layer. You put a layer of wax on, you fuse it with heat. That's where the blow torches come in, the irons, the wood burning tools. And, um, and then you add some pigments, or you can mix the pigment with the wax and continue to do layers. Oh, I, yeah. How long does it take you to create something like the, well, the piece in front of you? It, it, I always work on 10 or 20 pieces at a time. So in fact, some of these things I've started and I put away for a couple of years and then I go back to them. I never give up. Now I go, I go to the yeah. psychoanalysis kind of thing. Is that your type of personality? I have to finish one project before I go to the next one. So you're oh, the type you know, that goes yes, bang, bang, yes, bang, bang, yeah, bang? Yes. So uh, I, I'm multitasking. And, and the house is like constant <laughs> activity. Constant, constant. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. where would somebody be able to find your art? Uh, I think they've got my website, lindablakeneyart.com. Right. So is the next career teaching people to do this? Well, I was teaching, actually. I was at Ottawa. Really? Yeah. Right. Now, how long did you do that for? About a year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was up there for about five years, and I was taking classes, teaching. So nothing. you seem to have your furniture on wheels. Mm -hmm. um, uh, is th we're going to have you here for a while? Absolutely. We picked when we came back from Ottawa. We looked at a lot of different communities around here. We probably looked at twenty different communities before we decided to settle on Brantford. Part of the reason we started at Brantford it was because of the art community here and the access to all these great places nearby, and uh, we love Brantford, so we're absolutely definitely going to stay here for the long term. So looking at the website, is there a one-woman show in the future, or are we going to find, you know, you, are you going to have that combination with the local arts council? Or? Absolutely. I was on the Brant tour last year, but uh, absolutely we're going to plan some shows for next, for next year. Well, th I find this absolutely fascinating. I find it more amazing that it takes all the, I don't think of tools when somebody, mm -hmm. you know. I l love hardware stores. Really? Drywall tools, uh, absolutely. So is there a mechanical aptitude to you as well? No, probably I just steal things from my husband, <laughs> <laughs> partly from his hardware stuff and from the kitchen, too. He has to be very careful that, I, that he hangs on to all his kitchen tools. Well, I wish you all the best. I hope you come back and see us, and, and Merry Christmas, all the best in 2011. Thank you very much. Linda Blakeney has yeah. been our guest. We're coming back. By the way, this is Mona Lisa. Uh, Sid Bolton's going to be here. I get to grill Sid next on Inside Brand. <laughs>